ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mental Cast. This is episode number 413, brought to you by GeekJuicemedia.com, uh, where you can find us each and every week. Uh, you can also support support me and the show over at Patreon.com slash Mental. Uh, you can email us at MentalCast at GeekJuiceMedia.com, or find us via Facebook at MentalCast or GeekJuice. I'm Mike Riley. I'm Chelsea Tarkington. I'm Billy Connor. I'm Sir Adam Nicholas Benatchik. I'm Jace the Ace. Yeah. Oh. I'm afraid to wash yes. my hair. Hey, 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 yes, hey, yes, I am. Oh, I'm geez. spending a lot of time on the cave. And I'm sorry. Please run the runway. When I'm in yes, the shower, I'm afraid to wash my hair. Because I might look gone. and see someone standing there. No? Alright. Yeah. <laughs> That's how that goes. That dress is terrible. Sorry, I had to do my Tim Gunn impersonation. We all sounded like him. <laughs> Alright. Right. Make it work. Work, bitch. Uh, work. It's time now for the top five mental news stories of the week. That's right. Top five mental news stories of the week. You give us 22 minutes and I'll talk like Tim Gunn. <laughs> At number five. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> oh. I thought you were doing J- Sir, uh, James Bottom Tooth from Family. Yeah. No, it's the, mm, they, they, sound sound find like, they, they sound almost like I. The reason why I, I got so good at doing Tim Gunn's voice is because I hear him on that cartoon my niece watches all the time. What so, is Tim? Tim? Oh. Who is Tim, Tim Brown on Sophia the First? He's um. He's, he's the, the butler. butler. He's the butler. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Uh, number five is entitled, Not a WWE Tryout. Oh. <laughs> boy! It's a WWF Foundation instead. Uh, it's, in, it's in Pittsburgh, and here we are now, going to the south side. Uh, is that a, a Washington- movie reference? Yes, it is. <laughs> a Washington County woman was arrested for allegedly assaulting a club bouncer and Pittsburgh police officers. According to, <laughs> I'm sorry, it sounded like you said Pittsburgh. I know. Pittsburgh. <laughs> I have a, <laughs> I have an impediment. Okay, uh, you feel good about yourself now. Uh, according to police, Dana Blaze, who has a, f- that's a fucking wrestler name if I've ever heard one. I know. Before. Come on, yeah, like, like uh, a Lundra. Uh, <laughs> what if they're related? Probably not. Uh, initially tried to cut in line to get into Mario's on the south side late Saturday night. The bouncer saw her and told her to go to the back of the line. When she said no, the bouncer realized that she was too drunk to enter the establishment at all. At that time, Blaze said she wasn't going to leave. According to the criminal complaint, the woman got into a three-point stance like a football player and charged the bouncer with a shoulder block. When that didn't work, she grabbed his legs and tried to execute a wrestling takedown. The bouncer blocked her, and the two started to wrestle, and he shoved her from the front door. Blaze reportedly fell at the feet of two Pittsburgh police officers, took off one of their shields, and dumped it in the trash. And when they went to WCW. Uh, no. Uh, that didn't happen. Uh, they asked her for identification. She refused. Uh, she punched one of them in the face. <laughs> they arrested her. Tased mercilessly. They arrested her. Okay, bro. No, no, no. Uh, they arrested her, and she reportedly kicked, hit, and screamed the whole way into the police video. She was taken to Allegheny, Allegheny County Jail where she had numerous charges. Where she numerous charges? Thanks. Who wrote this? Where she... So, somebody from fucking CBS Pittsburgh wrote this, and it says she numerous charges. Uh, including five felony counts of assault. By the way, thank you to our producer, Dane, who just posted a picture of this this uh, upstanding citizen in, in the chat there. Uh... Copy link. I, I was I was hoping that she'd look better with uh, the name Blaze. You have to copy the link, Adam. It just showed up as the picture for me. Ah, you know, it kind of looks like Firefox. it kind of looks like Greg Valentine and a bulldog had a baby. Oh, oh! Would that be an aboba by baby? Her, uh, her. <laughs> <laughs> she's got ridges in her forehead like a Klingon. So she is ruffles. Is what <laughs> she's, saying. Like she's got she's she is ruffles because she has ruffles. She's kind of she's got like the, she's got the Abdullah the butcher scars on her. Oh. I was I was just thinking that Abdullah the butcher. Did she carry around a fork? 
She, she probably eventually. did, you know, like assaulting a freaking cop and a bouncer like she, that. Like she's she's the kind that goes to the bar, sits down, drinks. Who wants to dance with me? He's a freaking kind of <laughs> oh girl. Oh my god, I'm so drunk. Oh, kind of yes, you are. And they walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. The song is about me. And that's she, why she's I the one who gets up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This, this song is about me. On, on what about every, you know, every time I hear that voice, I just think, let's get some shows. <laughs> she goes, this song is about <laughs> me, and the song so is playing bad. as like, I've got a six-inch penis. It's not about you. I don't um, know, like, I, I, I immediately just started thinking about, uh, ah, crap, my train of thought just derailed. Oh, wait, yep. Uh, this is Dakota, and this is New Bedford. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ah, number four, Schrodinger's sex suspect. <laughs> Should Should he be in there or... suspect. Is he alive or dead in that box? <laughs> uh, Mission District residents might have been alarmed by a massive San Francisco Police Department response to an area public housing development Tuesday evening and wondered exactly what went down. The answer, after hours of police activity, not much. Uh, according to an SFPD spokesperson, at 5.58, officers in the mission saw a suspect who was wanted in... Con- Subject, who was wanted in connection with an aggravated assault, the suspect, who police de- de- declined to describe, fled into the building, into a building on the 1400 block of Treat Street. First of all, that's that's literally the name of a street in fucking San Francisco. Treat Street. Treat Street. Treat Street. Is there a Trick Street nearby? Is that was where they in, keep was, the rice was, was, was it in Castro? Is that where they keep the rice aroni? Because it's a San Francisco tree. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly. Oh, it's so funny. That block of Treat <laughs> Street. I got, that. I got jokes, yo. I got that jokes. That block of Treat Street is located between 26 and Cesar Chavez Streets, according to the San Francisco Housing Authority. Buildings on that block are part of Bernal Dwellings, a privately managed uh, mixed income community. Uh, police spokesperson so. said that technical units and crisis negotiators were called to the scene as police continued what they believed was a standoff with the suspect, one that went on for hours. In fact, it wasn't until almost three hours later that police realized the suspect wasn't actually in the building at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, officers then resumed search for the suspect, but as of, sto- as of this time, it appears no arrests were ever made. Come out oh, with your okay. hands up. Five hours later. I said, come out with your hands up. One day later. Come out with your <laughs> hands up. We're outside the building. So much we just later. want you to come out. So much Don't later. Don't make me send the, send the uh, special ops here. Two weeks later. Here they are. So Where much were later. they? The original... <laughs> Nowhere's yep. near here. Oh, why are we still? I would love to hear Dane's. I would love to hear <laughs> Dane's joke if he doesn't get interrupted for the fifth time. All right, go on. No, I'm no, I'm sorry. I'm I've been interrupted so many times. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> it's Obama's fault. It's Obama's fault. The guy wasn't there. He's only got one. He's only got one out. One year left in office, anyway. So that's all right. Number yes. three, drugs bust. Australian police. Oh, is this a? Is this why I'm on a show now? <laughs> no. Uh, it the, this is actually just a coincidence. You were scheduled this week. Uh, Australian police have discovered millions of dollars worth of drugs hidden inside a shipment of bras. Part of what they said on Monday was the country's biggest ever liquid methamphetamine bust. Perhaps <laughs> we should clarify which kind of bust. Uh, officers found more than 1 billion Australian dollars, which is about 712 million U.S., of the lethally addric- addictive drug. <laughs> Who is playing fucking Game Boy on the show? Seriously? Not me. I'm not. Uh, also known as ice in a series of raids, more than a quarter of the stash was hidden in gel inserts used as padding for women's underwear. Uh, an Australian federal police commander said the sting began in December of 2015 when the Australian Border Force examined a shipping container in Sydney. 
It was found to contain gel bra inserts, and hidden inside those gel bra inserts, uh, bra, was, uh, 190 liters of liquid methamphetamine, bra. Uh, <laughs> he didn't say the bra part. The seizure was referred to, uh, at Australian Federal Police, who began an investigation that found further 530 liters of the drug in storage units being used for art supplies. The, uh, the lieutenant on the scene was Lieutenant Bruce Brucenson. Good eye, Bruce. Oh, yeah, Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Don't hey, forget, Sheila. The, don't forget Detective Sheila. I was going to say Sheila. Yeah, I've never want, heard of this news. Would you like to go now. see the movie Razorback with me, Sheila? No. Guys, I wonder why I was getting such a good buzz from the from motorboating these boobs. Uh, giggity. <laughs> oh, wag my young ass. I I haven't heard of this news until now, but ice is a very big drug in Australia. Just a note. So what yeah, this is this is, very, this is a very Australian news. Also, well, I don't know if you like know, that, Adam, right? but we have a thing here called like Florida. That, yeah. We have a thing here called Florida. <laughs> they invented the fucking drug. <laughs> Florida, the Australia of the United States. Yeah, but it's like saying like a. <laughs> Ice is popular in Australia the same way Jerry Lewis is popular in France, kind of thing. Only Ironically, there's a opinion. difference. Mm. There's a huge difference. Number two, from love cuffs to real cuffs. Mm. Oh my! And oh this my. is in Little Rock, Arkansas, so it probably involves a brother and sister or Bill Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's a that's a stereotype. Hey. That's a Hillary, that's, my sister Hillary. <laughs> that's a Hillary. I can't get the cuffs off. <laughs> shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was Hillary saying, "Shut up, bitch." You. By the way, an Arkansas couple uh, key evening of kinky entertainment ended with one pair of handcuffs used for fun being replaced for another used for real in an arrest. Police said on Friday. Dustin Taylor, 21, summoned police this week to his home in Fort Smith to remove a pair of handcuffs he told officers he and his wife had been using the previous night while doing some kinky things, the official report stated. The couple had lost a key, Taylor explained. The responding patrolman removed the handcuffs and did a routine search of Taylor's name in a police database. When the co computer reported an outstanding warrant for Taylor on criminal mischief, handcuffs went back on, but this time they belonged to the officer. You see, this is what, hap <laughs> this is what happens when you try to roleplay Gerald's game. It just doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> this, this is a better story than Fifty Shades of Grey, let me tell you that. Mm. Any <clears throat> story involving handcuffs is a better story than Fifty Shades of Grey. Yep. Our you next story is the next a better story than still a better love Grey. story than Twilight. At number one, Snap. watch for the undertow. Toe, T O E. Uh, undertow. Huh? Watch under my toe. Mm. Uh, well, if I could get the story to load, ah, here we go. Finally, come on, you can do it. There we go, and we go to Vancouver Island for the story. Hey, that's where Mark lives. Yeah. Yep. A human foot wearing okay. <laughs> wearing a oh shoe boy. and a black cock a black sock wearing a black cock. <laughs> <laughs> a human foot wearing a black cock. Excuse me. It was a black rooster's butt. It, uh, it, it was just uh, wedged between the toes. A you know, human... got a snake between them. It a was few... very thin. I'll, I'll try the I'll try the sentence again. A fuman a fu uh, a fuman <laughs> a fuman <laughs> hood. <sighs> a human <laughs> foot <laughs> wearing a shoe and a black sock was found by a walker on Vancouver's island's botanical beach on Sunday. What's remarkable about it is the remarkable. What's remarkable? <laughs> Do you want me to read the story instead? No, I'd like my fucking mouth to cooperate with me. Uh, what's remarkable is that it's the 13th such foot to have washed ashore on the Canadian island since 2007. <laughs> oh my god. Mark, you live on a serial killer island. Uh, yeah, it must that? be, it must be stressed one of the feet that washed up in 2008 is thought to have been a prank. That's still 12 real feet. 
<laughs> Six well, people are out there wondering where their feet are. Uh, this latest foot is thought to have belonged to a person who died sometime between March and December, uh, March of 2013 and December 2015, uh, because that really narrows it down. Uh, the shoe it was wearing was a type first sold in the U.S. in March of 2013. Barb McClintock from the British Columbia Coroner Service told CNN that the authorities do not suspect foul play. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> what, what this is is actually the, uh, byline for an episode of the new CBS spinoff, Criminal Minds Canada, eh? <laughs> so uh, CBS epi- standing for Canadian Broadcast System. The episode is titled. The, the episode is titled. The plot is afoot. You find uh, a human. Uh, you find a human foot floating in the ocean, or in a lake, or whatever, and you don't suspect foul play. Nope. Yeah, that's what I. Think. I I'm, that's I how like nice Canadians know, are. I would like to know what exactly. Oh, that's totally normal. Here. Or, well, I mean, hey, if, look, it's the, like, if it's the if it's the 13th foot, what? if it's the 13th what? foot that's washed up on the shore of Vancouver Island, I'm assuming by that point it is pretty much normal. <laughs> we have a lot I of mean, it's, it's from like, Archie tomorrow. We oh, don't another normally foot came hear up. a Fuck lot it. about it, but New York has a lot of dead animal sightings in Central Park. That that's just like... when Barbara Streisand's there. <laughs> Satanic ritual type. Uh, Animal slayings that they find in Again. Central Park. <laughs> Listen, J- City, no Jace, no Jace, Jace yeah. I, I wanted this to come from me. Uh, well, most of those animals come from the church that I belong to, the Church of the Baba Dabuki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, uh, from from the sect uh, Babu Babi Baba Baba. Uh, no. Asshole. Why is this turning From... into a fucking Bobby McDarren song? What the fuck is going on? Bobby McDarren. <laughs> that time I saw Bobby Mike. McFerrin fall down the stairs. That's what I meant. Mike, don't worry. Be happy that this story doesn't go Adam, anywhere outside Adam, that was bad Vancouver. and you should feel bad. Uh, <laughs> this week in music on February 19th. Oh my god, there's a long list. All right. Uh, Painting List by Animal Collective. In my mind, by B.J. the Chicago Kid. Is, is the Chica- wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Is the Chicago is his name B.J. or is he telling us to give a B.J. to the huh? kid from Chicago? Oh, oh, I know what? this. I know this ball. Am I supposed to blow Duck Walker? Is that what's going on here? Okay. Uh, void beats. Sorry, invocation. I'm being alerted as to who won Best in Show. Uh, it was Did a you dog. Best in Show. Uh. Okay. In a surprise swerve by Vince Russo, a cat wins the Westminster Dog Show. Was Void Pete's <laughs> invocation. No, like, best in show was Judy Bagwell. <laughs> On a pole. I, you know, I was at a cat show this weekend. <laughs> they call those strip clubs, Billy. No, it was, it was a literal... No, shut up. Look at all that pussy! <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I said when I walked in. Oh... Void beats and invocation. People laughed. People Look, laughed. We're gonna be here for three days if I can't get through all this. Sorry. <laughs> Void beats invocation by Cavern of Antimatter. Grask by Choir of Young Believers. Secrets by Deep Sea Diver. I don't know. Secrets by Deep Sea Diver. Oh, the secrets of the deep ocean. Uh, estranged by Dinamo Azari. Golden Days self-titled, Phase by Jack Garrett, uh, Jesu Sun Kill Moon self-titled, Javelin by Jordan Klassen, Side Pony by Lake Street Dry- Dive, uh, LNZN DRF self-titled, I'm guessing that's like Lazendorf, I have no idea, Ritualized by Lush Life, Ultimate Care 2 by Matmos, Living on a High Note by Mavis Staples. You know what, you could probably just slip utter bullshit into this section and we wouldn't be able to call you on it. Uh, Ladies and Gentlemen, Nigel Hall by Nigel Hall. Need Your Light by Ra Ra Riot. Rocket Science by Rick Springfield. Seth Bogart, self-titled. Oh, wait, 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 back that up. Rick Springfield? Springfield? Yes. Taking One for the Team by Simple Plan. Neo (laughs) by So Pitted. (laughs) (laughs) Banshee by The Cave Singers. Life of Paws by Wild Nothing. Victorious by Wolf Mother. And yes, I'm a witch too by Yoko Ono. He's just, he's just right themselves. 
Yeah, um, let's just move on from Simple Plan and Yoko Ono <laughs> in this. I mean, she named her album something we already knew. <laughs> yes! <laughs> her next album is called Yeah, I Know, I Know, I Broke Up the Beatles, so what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this week in movies on February 19th, Race, starring Stephen James, Jason Sudeikis, Jeremy Irons, William Hurt, Carrie Van Houten, and Amanda Crew. It's about Jesse Owens and the It's about Jesse Owens. For my next impression, Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens' quest to become the greatest track and field athlete in history thrusts him onto the world stage at the 1936 Olympics, where he faces off <sighs> against Adolf Hitler's vision of Aryan supremacy. The weird thing about this movie is that Hitler was actually a decent person in real life in this movie. Uh, he was better to Jesse Owens than the President of the United States was to Jesse Owens. Hitler uh, sent congratula- a congratulatory like telegram or something to Jesse Owens. The president of the United States at the time snubbed him. I, uh, but then, you know, the f- one I'm million... I'm in no way Jews. defending Adolf Hitler. I'm just saying that he was nicer to this guy. Than the oh, no, I'm not saying that you're defending Adolf Hitler. I just like the serendipitous of the fact that, oh, yeah, Hitler was a nice guy. He cut you. <laughs> he sure oh, he was he was a nice guy, except you know he killed you know. Yeah, he's a nice guy, except guys. for all the I'm killings. I'm not saying that he was a nice guy. I'm saying Hitler. Hitler was, was that... nice to Jesse Owens. Hitler wasn't racist towards black people. I think is what I'm trying to say. No, just the Jewish and the gays. That's Hitler, all. Hitler was less racist than FDR. And, and George and Bush Jewish. doesn't care about black people, but Hitler does. So Risen. next time you think to compare George Bush to Hitler, think again. Uh, I'm so I, this whole sentence is a train wreck. I'm just well, any sentence with Hitler, it's a train wreck. I think I think I saw a poster of the movie which has Jason Sudeikis' name near the swastika sign, and I'm thinking, well, that is so uh, there. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> Sudeikis doesn't play a Nazi. He actually plays Jesse Owens' trainer. Uh, yeah, but Riz- he's a Jewish actor. Like, Jewish-American actor, so... Risen. Starring What's next? Jo- Prison? Nope, not gonna repeat it. Starring Joseph Fiennes, Tom Felton, and Cliff Curtis. Wait. Oh, Risen. Uh, the Jesus movie. And The Witch, okay. starring uh, Yoko Ono. No. <laughs> <laughs> Witch, starring... I want to say about the Romans trying to uh, solve if Jesus like rose from the dead, or if the Jews stole his his followers. Not the Jews, Jesus. Uh, the if witch his followers stole the corpse. We're moving on now, the witch starring Anya Taylor Joy, Ralph Innocent, and Kate Dickey. This movie looks so weird. This movie, a family in nineteen in nineteen no sixteen thirties New England is torn apart by the forces of witchcraft, black magic, and possession, and that's the most vague description I have ever read from, for what happens in a movie. Set in New England, yet probably not shot anywhere near so here. Basically, it's, it's just the Crucible. Yes, it was probably shot Possibly. in Vancouver. That's where all the movies are shot. Probably. Uh. This week in video games on February sixteenth, Elite Dangerous Arena for Windows, Layers of Phil for uh, Layers of Fear, <laughs> Layers, uh, layers of, of Phil. Phil. <laughs> no, I think that's, it said uh, layers, that's my new metal band. Layers of Phil. It's a, a trivia about to cradle. Of I didn't even say filth. I said Phil. Layers of Phil. Just some guy <laughs> named Phil. Uh, layers of Fear for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Pillars of Eternity: The White March Part Two for Windows. Project X Zone Two for 3DS. Street yes. Fighter Five for Windows and PS4, Escapist: The Walking Dead for PS4, uh, Tron Runner for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Ooh. On the 17th of February, Californium for Windows and Mac, Rocket League for Xbox One. On the 18th, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc for Windows, Plague Woo! Inc. Evolved for Windows, Mac, and Linux, Project Sets it's and Out for PS4 for and Vita. Windows. The thing's been out for the PSP for for a very long time. All right. Yeah, well. <laughs> Time for our one list this week. Uh, top eight TV spinoffs. Frasier. Chelsea took that one. That's what I one. called already. Yeah, I told you that on Facebook, Billy. No, 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 I didn't see that then. Okay. Um... What about S- Call Sal? Okay. Better Call Saul. Yeah. Better Call Saul. Yeah. Yeah. 
I okay. want to say Mork and Mindy, but my gut says Star Trek The Next Generation. Okay. Uh, mine, mine is, I will say The Lone Garment, but I know it's 411, so I'm guessing it's a Joss Whedon show. So I'll pick Angel instead. Uh, that's very <laughs> likely, actually. I'm gonna pick yeah. the. I'm gonna pick the Simpsons. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, that's a spin-off. Yeah, and I just, it's yeah. Almond show. It's the and most successful a... spin-off in history. <laughs> Can I make a pick? Sure. Go on. Laverne and Shirley. Yep, that's a that spin-off. Spin-off of Happy Days. Years. There were lots of spin-offs of Happy Days, though. Uh, so. Yeah, that '70s show. Oh wait, just... no, that just spun off the format. Uh, uh, that 80s show is a spin-off that 70s show, so... Why don't we talk about that 80s show? Let's move on. <laughs> uh, just missing the cut. Boston Legal? Yeah. Uh-huh. Xena Goodbye. Warrior but Princess? That's spin-off of... Uh, it doesn't say on here, unfortunately. It's just an honorable mention. The practice. Boston 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 Boston. Yeah, the practice, okay. Xena oh. Warrior Princess? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Spin-off of Hercules. Yep. Uh, Happy Days, which is a spin-off of Love American Style. Yeah. A Different World, which I believe was spin off of the Family Matters, was it? Uh, the Cosby Show. Uh, I, Cosby um, Show, that's it. Cosby yeah. Show, yeah. And then uh, Daria, which is a spin off of Beavis and Butthead. I forgot about that. that. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, number eight, The Facts of Life, which is spun from different strokes. Mm-hmm. What you talking about? Villas. What are you talking about, the Villas? Uh, number seven, Laverne and Shirley. It's a spinoff of Happy Days. Dane's Peak. So that's actually a spinoff of a spinoff. Yep. Oh, this is Patrick. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Number six, Angel. Spinoff of Buffy, of course. I knew it. <laughs> broken it. Four, one, one. Number five is Frasier. Spinoff of Cheers. Mm-hmm. Number four is... Uh, the Andy Griffith Show, which is a spinoff of the Danny oh. Thomas Show. Number three, Star Trek: Next Generation. I think we know what that's all spun from. Star oh, yeah. Wars. Yep. Uh, number two, <laughs> yeah. the Jeff to Jefferson spinoff of All in the Family. And number one is The Simpsons, which was, of course, a spinoff of the Tracy Ullman Show. What was what was Andy Griffith Show spinoff of? The Danny Thomas Show. Okay. I don't think mm-hmm. not many people know this, but Beavis and Butthead is a popularly a spin-off of Liquid Television. Yes, uh, yeah. there's actually yeah. a couple of spin-offs of Liquid Television. Eon Flux is another one. And the Max Simple and the Head. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, Grammys. That happened last night. I didn't watch it. My Facebook status said it all. Apparently oh. last night there was an award show dedicated to older, uh, older women. Oh. Older women yeah, with, yeah. Uh, Grand, with, you know, with let's, let's worship our grandmothers. The, uh, you know, the, they deserve <laughs> it. The winner, Man, for, yeah, the, the winner for album of the year goes to the Golden Girls. Um, let's just give yeah. every award to Betty White. So yeah. apparently, oh. Sorry, that's uh, that's I my auto play. I thought it was, I thought somebody else was playing a video for a second. I'm like, who's fucking doing that? Oh, it's me. Uh, <laughs> so, Lady Gaga singing David Bowie. Yeah, that was Lady Gaga so performing. Apparently, Lady Taylor, Taylor Swift David. really stuck it to Kanye West last night. Uh, <laughs> in, in bed. No. Uh, album of the year went to Taylor Swift for 1989. Record of the year went to Uptown Funk. Song of the year went. To, song of the year went to Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Best new artist went to Ugh. Megan Megan Trainer, and I hope the best new artist curse applies in this case. Yes. To who? Go away, Megan Trainer. Megan, Megan oh, Trainer. Two years in a row, it's applied. Um, uh, well, <laughs> you know what? Still around and still. No, uh, yeah, Macklemore's like still around downtown. too. Macklemore's still been making hits too. I'm I'm happy for her just because she's a masshole like myself. Uh, best asshole. rock performance, Alabama Shakes. Don't want to fight. Best Country Album, Chris Stapleton with Traveler. Best Rap Album, Kendrick Lamar to Pimp a Butterfly. Best Musical Theater Album is Hamilton. Although, admittedly, Kendrick Lamar is pretty freaking good. I just did not know that was the title of the album. Yeah. Uh, Best Musical Theater Album was Hamilton. Best Pop Vocal Album was 1989 by Taylor Swift. I know Rick lost it over uh, Hamilton Hamilton winning that. 
Uh, a lot of people did, apparently. Yeah. Uh, let's see what here. What else was it going to go to? Come on, you guys. What is the biggest thing? What is everybody talking about? Best spoken word album went to Jimmy Carter. Uh, best comedy album went to Louis C.K. Grammys don't mean anything. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as long as you release music, you're technically allowed to vote for it. It's not uh, like the Oscars. Yeah, best music videos, Bad Blood by Taylor Swift and Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, it's a, it's basically a popularity contest. Yeah, it is. Best I mean, ru- I, I got a friend who votes every year, and he just says, fuck everybody, I'm going to vote for, like, I think it's either song or album, and that's all he gives two shits about. Uh, best metal performance went to Ghost for Cerise. Which Ooh. I actually really like Ghost. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a really, they're, they're a good. really awesome band. If you haven't heard them, you should pick, they, uh, they used to be known as Ghost BC. They and, used to say BC wasn't pronounced, though. And it's they, uh, Ghost. their album or EP was produced by Dave Grohl, so that's a plus. Yes, and they're, here, here are a list of their members. Papa Emeritus. Nameless school, nameless school, nameless school, nameless school, nameless school. <laughs> they're yeah, kind it's, of it's they're funny, kind of anonymous. Uh, one of the movies I was on uh, for the scene, a lot of people were wearing uh, shirts for Ghost, and uh, those shirts were provided to them by Wardrobe. So, uh, so yeah. to the person in Wardrobe who did that, you have good taste in music. Uh, Cerise is uh, one of my favorite metal songs of the last year. Uh, one of my favorite rock songs of the last year. If you haven't heard it, you should listen to it. It's it's it sounds like old like progressive rock. It's really good. Um, best yeah, rock that's, song that's went to Don't Want to Fight, huh? I, I said I like progressive rock. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, rock song, best rock song went to Don't Want to Fight by Alabama Shakes. Best rock album went to Drones by Muse. Uh, okay. That's pretty much it. I didn't go through everything. Uh-huh. I just went through the ones I wanted to read. The that dead... is a really good album by Muse, too. Yes. Yeah, it is. I mean, uh, the only song that gets to me is Psycho, because the chorus line is like, uh, what was it? It's something, uh, Your Ass is Mine or something? Something like that. I mean, yeah. Muse has put out some really good music on and off over the last ten years. It's they, They're really like, hit or miss, but when they hit, they hit. They're like one of my favorite bands, to be uh, honest. Yeah, yeah. Like, I still like Hysteria. I still like uh, oh, what's, what's that one? We will always fight to survive. I don't remember that. that oh, Knights uh, of Sidonia. Uh, well, Knights of Sidonia. I still yeah, like. Uh, I like their single Madness. Yeah, Madness is um, good. Um, 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 their their uh, latest one. Uh, their latest one, Dead Inside, is so freaking good too. Yep, I've been hearing it on uh, Sirius XM. Uh, I really like Panic Station from a couple years ago. That's a really good yeah. song. I I wouldn't have gotten into them if it wasn't for a drunk German guy at Club Hell one night just ranting like he was pulling people aside and just going like, you will never find another band out there greater than yours. And he just was like ranting about it to everybody drunkenly. And And I was like, well, I should look into them because you're German. Let's also not forget the one that I always get requested to sing at karaoke and that's Supermassive Black Hole. Supermassive Black Hole. Also known as Kim Kardashian. No. <laughs> also known also known as Courtney Love. <laughs> oh. There you go. So Deadpool breaks some records. It's the highest rated R rating opening of the of ever, pretty much. I saw it on Friday. It was amazing. It's apparently like one of the best movies of the year already, and we're only two months in. And it's probably the best movie of the last few years. Uh, it's the biggest opening ever for an R-rated movie on a three-day base- basis. It opened to 132.75 million. Uh, that's just three days. And we're not counting the, the, the extra day in the weekend, which was President's Day. Uh, it looks like they opened at about 150 million. That's and pretty good. Uh, that's, that's high, man. I should say something. Uh, I was in a train station the other day, and there was a TV screen showing loops of a uh, Deadpool ad, and next to it is a wall, which is another Deadpool ad. And if there was another Deadpool ad, so it's like three Deadpool adverts in the same place. I love the fact that the, the that Fox, who did it, well, it was Fox, right? Was saying, yes, Fox. Do, yeah. do not bring your kids to this movie. I repeat, do not 
bring your kids to this. Oh, Do not. Well, said you it, have Ryan Reynolds complaints. said it, the producer, the creator of Deadpool. And all I can say, and I said it on Facebook, I'll say it again here. If you brought your kid to see Deadpool, despite everybody telling you from the creator of the comic, the producers, the directors, the actor himself, not to bring your kid, your brain Deadpool. <laughs> just just have your kid watch X-Men Origins Wolverine, since that's PG-13. Yeah, this is already the second highest grossing film of 2016. The highest right now being The Mermaid. Uh, it has currently earned... About two hundred eighty-five million. I don't know. So there you go. What's the mermaid. I the mermaid. I believe that's a retelling of the Little Mermaid. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, it's a Chinese movie uh, that was uh, released uh, here. That's why. Because everyone in China was required to see it. Yeah. <laughs> the highest. So it grossed ninety billion dollars. I have no idea how many people were in China. Close to that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think there's 90 billion people on Earth, Billy. No, no. I think I think there's like 2 billion in <laughs> Yeah, roughly. 2, 3 billion. 75% of the Earth's population is in China. Uh, uh, China and India, I thought. That's yeah. why she's such a slut. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, okay. She's also got a the big The problem story. is, is that everybody was just in China for that one night. No. Oh. Oh. Come on, guys! Don't tear your asshole about it. Uh, a production team involved <laughs> in Star Wars. Did it twice. <laughs> one was from her and only. <laughs> the other one her. was from doing his signature move. Yeah, don't do your Bronco Buster on her. Uh, <laughs> she's pierced. Uh, production team involved. You don't want to make her angry, Willie. I mean, she'll become She Hulk in a You don't want to make it angry, is what I'm trying to tell you. It gets uh, into words and it'll knock you out. It, a production team involved in Star Wars The Force. <laughs> yeah, fucking Floyd Mayweather took it one on one and lost. Uh, a production team involved in Star Wars The Force Awakens have been issued criminal charges by British government following Harrison Ford's accident on the Millennium Falcon. Uh, Disney subsidiary Foodles Production. That's a weird name for production company. Has been charged with four workplace health and safety violations. Uh, a statement from health and safety executive said, By law, employees must take reasonable steps to protect workers. This is as true on a film set as a factory floor. A spokesperson from Foodles Production has since responded saying, Cast and crew safety are always a top priority. We provided full cooperation during uh, HSE's investigation into the onset accident and incurred in June of 2014, and are disappointed in their decision. Hmm. Yep, there you go. And not that it matters now. <laughs> uh, apparently it still does, because they're getting charged. Criminal charges. That's a lot of uh, anything for a buck, you know. Hollywood has been trying to turn video games into movies for almost as long as video games have existed, but the results have been decidedly mixed. Uh, that doesn't mean anyone's gonna stop trying, and now comes the news that there's a live-action CG animation hybrid feature based on... Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Wait, 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 wait. Is Tails gonna be in it? Probably. Probably. It's probably gonna be about Sonic coming to the real world. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's no, a real bad a idea, idea, especially, idea. especially Last if he gets that dropped. Happened, we got Sonic 2006. What, yeah. what would be a, uh, uh, what would be a better movie if Sonic gets dropped in the real world at a furry convention? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a product of no, my time. That movie would Sonic, probably be, the uh, Tricks Rabbit geez, and Tony the Tiger in all dropped furry at a furry land convention. adventure. That that movie would never be able to be re- daddy, released to the daddy, public. Daddy, give me cummies. <laughs> Rated <laughs> NC-17. Yeah. This uh, is Sonic Triple X. Let's face it. Nothing Sonic has done since Sonic Adventure 2 has been any good. You know, so I mean... Sonic Generations was decent, but it wasn't, you know... It was decent, but I mean, like, just like Sonic 4 was good, but episodic gaming kind of became a flash in the pan because... Nobody could make it out of episode two alive. Yeah. 
Uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's RPG spinoff Five Nights at Freddy's World has been re-released for free and is now available on Game Jolt. Uh, it was ori- initially released on Steam in late January, but developer Scott Cawthon pulled the game from sale just days later, citing concerns with the reviews and ratings it was getting. Refunds were offered to players. The free updated version of Five Nights at Freddy's World boasts a remodeled overworld and many other new features. According to Cawthon, there are also more updates to come. I'll give it a shot. I'm an RPG junkie. I never played any of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, and this game looks disgustingly cute and horrible at the same time, so... Could work. (laughs) Alright. Next. If you see someone on a forum or elsewhere online suggesting you set your iPhone's clock back to the 70s, under no circumstances you should follow through with it iPhone users have discovered a bug that could permanently brick your phone. If you set your phone to its earliest possible date, January 1st, 1970, it causes your iPhone to drop a lot of acid and listen to the Led Zeppelin. (laughs) No. Uh, (laughs) And and a beat off Black Sabbath as well. Uh, It actually causes it to crash. Apple hasn't released an official statement regarding why this is happening. Uh, how are we seeing? I have a question. Okay. Why would you do that? Dumb curiosity. Apparently, a very com- convincing uh, viral. Oh, wait picture. a minute. Okay, so here we go. As CNN Money says, speculates it has something to do with Unix time. Uh, Unix began counting seconds at midnight, January first, nineteen seventy, which would make the date zero 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 in Unix time. Videos of the bugs show iPhones continue to work immediately after the date has been changed, and problems begin when users try to restart the phone. From there, it's stuck on the Apple logo. There are plenty of videos on the internet to watch folks breaking their phones. If you're curious, we recommend simply watching those and not trying the bug for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, because this is like the Millennium Bug kind of shit, man. Exactly. Why would I want Macklemore? (laughs) <laughs> Why would you want Michael Cole? Why would you want Michael Moore? Why would you want Michael? I said Millennium Buck. Oh. I don't like Michael Moore. Uh. Ah. Amazon released its open source game engine Lumberyard for free this week. Uh, this means extensive customization for game developers, unless they're looking to use Rumble... Y- Lumble... Blah, 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 blah. This means extensive customization for game developers unless they're looking to use Lumberyard to run life-critical or safety-critical systems, like medical equipment, self-driving cars, or nuclear facilities. That's against the rules according to the company's terms of service. Unless the zombie apocalypse comes. Written into Amazon's Clause 57.1, these restrictions do not apply, quote, in the event of an occurrence of a widespread viral infection transmitted via bites or contact with bodily fluids that causes human corpses to reanimate and seek to consume living human flesh, blood, brain, or nerve tissue. The fall of organized civilization, however, must be confirmed by United States Centers for Disease Control or its successor body. Thanks for looking out, Amazon. For God's sakes. So then we gotta got we gotta find a guy named Lee, and get him to save a girl named Clementine. I think you know where I'm going with that. Uh, I wish you did. <laughs> I'm not saying it. Okay, well, uh, that's all the news. So it's time for Jokerty. Uh before we go into it, yeah. Pizza Hut wants to offer Kanye West a job to pay off his fifty-three million in debt. Yeah, but it's Pizza, it's Pizza Hut UK, so it's inferior. True, true. <laughs> and Martin Skrillex got whipped off for uh, trying to buy his new album for fifty million yeah, he, bucks. He got conned out of fifteen million dollars. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that was like the greatest news ever. Yeah. Somebody give that guy a fucking medal. Not Martin Skrillex, the other guy, the guy that ripped. Yeah, the, assuming that the other guy's been found. <laughs> Uh, Martin Screlly, a.k.a. the world's most hated person and voted most punchable face by his uh, yearbook. He looks like the kind of person I want to punch with. You want to Looks like the guy I used to beat up in high school. Yeah. Not even even like a bully high school thing, but like 
No, like this guy just had a very punchable face and he was annoying. Yeah, like punchable punchable time. Time. Yeah. All right, guys, it is time for Jokerty, which is what I decided to call Joker Jeopardy now to kind of uh-huh. make it roll off the tongue a little better. All right. Uh, of course, I think, uh, well, I got to explain how this works to Adam. Let me get the first round set up and then we'll do the, we'll do the thing. Mm-hmm. How's that sound? How's explain. That sound? Uh, so. All right, I got the first round set up. Let me get that ready to go. This is Joker Day. Let's meet Contagion. Contagion one. <laughs> Let's meet today's <laughs> contestants. First, he's a regular cast member on the Mental Cast, and you can't be serious. From Liverpool, New South Wales, Australia, Adam Bednarczyk. Next, Hello? she's a. She's a she's a four time loser on Joker's Jeopardy from Aww. Virginia Beach. Oh, <laughs> very mean. Runner up is a better word. Runner Just up, say sorry. Runner up. Runner up yeah. Run, uh, on uh, things, stuff, and things. I forgot even what I was saying now. Virginia Beach, Virginia, Chelsea Tarkington, <laughs> and our champion, an actor from Boston, Massachusetts, Jace the Ace, who's. Oh shit, I didn't look up your cash winnings. <laughs> Perhaps I should do that. My cash winnings are well over 9,000. Oh. Please don't do that in front of Adam. Stolen. Please don't say that in front of Adam. Uh, well, you could say it, but I'm not going to talk about Jay's it. D- Jay's DAs, whose four week cash winnings total $163,999. And now it's time for Jokerty. So. It's a combination of Joker's Wild and Jeopardy, as most of us know by now. Uh, when it's your turn, I'll spin the wheel for you. You'll be asked to pick a category, and I'll ask you a question from that category based on what number of clue we're on. Uh, single categories are worth one time the clue value, or face clue value, if you prefer. Uh, if you spin a pair, it's worth two times the face clue value. Uh, triples worth three times. Natural triples are worth three and a half times. And of course, uh, if you spin Joker, 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 you'd be allowed to pick any clue from any category for four times its value. Okay. Daily doubles work just like they do on Jeopardy. Final to Jeopardy will work just like it does on Jeopardy. I'm sorry for calling you a loser, Chelsea. Are you okay? Silent. No! You hurt my feelings, my God. Well, I think I'm going to retire from the mental cast now. <laughs> Show's canceled, everybody. I feel like I really feel like shit. It's not. It's not funny. You know, I was fake crying, right? I'm not. Oh shit! <laughs> I actually feel bad. I really feel bad. It's okay. No, it's not. Uh, each round is timed. The first round is 15 minutes. Second round is 10 minutes. Uh, daily, do- like I said, daily doubles and final jeopardy will work just as they do on the show. I haven't brought up my friggin' soundboard yet. How's that for a soundboard? <laughs> That's not a soundboard. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> it is your sound. <laughs> uh. Okay. All right. So, uh, as champion, Jace will be going first. Let's see if he can win a fifth nine, a fifth time in a row. Whoop. Oh, what the fuck. I opened it and then the friggin' program closed on me. <coughs> I love Goat Simulator. Who doesn't? I have it on my tablet. There we go. Alright, got it open now. Okay. Demon code. So, uh, like I said, the uh, we'll begin the round with the uh, the picking of the first category by Jace. Uh, the categories are for uh, for the first round of play. Uh, the OED says, and that's Oxford English Dictionary. Geek Juice, the blank of blank, Australia, metal uh-huh. before metal before and after, and talk like a pirate. Arr. That metal right. before after I heard last week was genius. Apparently, according to yeah. some people, uh, Chelsea. Chelsea Ace. Chelsea, Chelsea uh, also okay. said it was genius, apparently. Oh. 
I don't know. I was just being, I, I thought it was just being me being stupid, but apparently it was good. I don't know. Uh, in any event, uh, time will start when Jace picks the first category from these. Mental before and after, Australia, the blank of blank. Uh, the blank of blank. All right. This Washington, D.C., uh, D.C. landmarks Thomas Jefferson building, uh, houses its main reading room. Uh, what is the Library of Congress? That is correct. Chelsea, for you. Joker, Joker, Joker. Oh, holy mother. Wow, that's, uh, that was right off. <laughs> Earliest it's ever happened. I think so, yeah. So, uh, well, yeah, I mean, you know what to do at this point, so. Uh, which category would you like? What are the, uh, let's go, let's go mental before and after. That's always fun. All right. And for how much? All of the money. Two, four, six, eight, or a thousand? A thousand. A comedy skit based on all that, uh, a comedy skit from all that based around a woman with oven mitts on her breasts. Uh, I know the second half is actually Miller. I don't know the first bit. I'm sorry. Oh, no, wait. Is it? Shoot. It was, oh, never mind. I don't know. I think it was the Amanda Bynes sketch, though. What is Ask Ashley Miller, since it mm. was a, since it was a triple joke? I was going to say that. I should have guessed oh. that. Yeah. All right. Well, now nobody gets the $1,000 there. Yeah, that one's gone. Uh, Adam, Joker, bl- the blank of blank, Australia. Joker, Australia. Malcolm Turnbull just recently assumed this government position. Ooh. I hate that guy, so, uh... Oh, what was that, uh, Prime Minister? Judge Je- Je- Jeopardy rules, by the way. Uh, what is Prime Minister? There you go, you got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Good job. Jace, Australia, the OED says, talk like a pirate. Uh, yar, pirate. And you can buy an eye what actually fits and is made of glass is spoken in this movie franchise. Uh, what is Pirates of the Caribbean? Very good. You know my pirates. Yar. Yar. Uh, Chelsea. Mental before and after, mental before and after, Joker. Oh, what was it? Mental before and after, mental before and after, Joker. Uh, let's go Joker, mental before and after. The host of the mental cast who has five distinct feelings inside thanks to Pixar. Oh, what is Ah. Michael Riley, the chick from Inside Out? No, I can't accept that. Uh, I don't know what the hell her last name is. Adam, do you know? Uh, I I haven't seen Inside Out, to be honest, so I I got nothing. Uh, Jace? Got nothing. Who is Michael Riley Anderson? That's her name. Surprised. Uh, all right, Adam, Joker, Mental Before and After, The Blank of Blank. Joker, Mental Before and After. Schoolhouse Rock Song about a man who enjoys destroying cheap toys. (laughs) House Rock... House... Wait, House Rock Song... Uh... Schoolhouse Rock Song about a man who enjoys destroying cheap toys. Ah... Honestly, uh, let me think for a second. Uh, I don't know. I didn't watch Schoolhouse Walk myself. Jace. I'm just a Billy Carter. Jeopardy. Uh, what is I'm just a Billy Carter? There you go. Okay. I, will, I will accept that. I'm just a Bill Carter. <laughs> 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 Billy Bear. Finally, uh, I watched right. Schoolhouse Walk. Jace, talk like a pirate. Joker, geek juice. It was a uh, pirate again. In this film, Carrie Elwes as the dread pirate Roberts calls Chris Sarandon a warthog faced buffoon. <laughs> what is the Princess Bride? Very good. Also, uh, it's an excellent movie, by the way. Love that movie. All right. Chelsea, uh, mental before and after, Australia, Joker. Joker, mental before and after. I gotta get at least one of these right. A breed of dog best known for creating the Neutral Milk Hotel moment. 
What is a Great Dane Forgione? That's correct. <laughs> Very good. Woof. I think I made that one up on the chat last week. Uh, Adam, Joker, Australia, Joker. Joker, Australia. Despite being sparsely populated, it's the largest state, occupying a third of the country's land mass. Hmm. Ah, man. There's only like seven, so you you got to live this yeah. Life. yeah, yeah, I'm trying to think that. Northern Territory? What uh, is the Northern Territory? No, incorrect. Jace? What is oh. I don't know, Western Australia? That's yeah, correct. I was going to say that, yeah. Yeah, that's correct. I guessed completely at that. I just took the direction. <laughs> Jace? Joker, the uh, Joker, Australia, the OED says. Uh, let's go OED. The OED says it's the it's that which points the way, especially a piece of evidence useful in detection of a crime. Ah, uh, points the way. No, it's not compass. Um, fried chicken, fried chicken. Uh, steak, steak, small amount of peas. Uh, clue. What is a clue? That's correct. Yes! <laughs> Alright, Chelsea, Joker, Joker, the blank of blank. Uh, Joker, Joker, the blank of blank, why not? This 389,000 square mile body of water laps at the western shores of Honshu. Aye. Aye. I know it's Japan. What is the Sea of Japan? That's correct. Ah! Ah, ah, good guess. Adam, mental before and after, Australia, the OED says. I'll go with mental before and after. It's an early daily double for you, because uh, you only have 200 <laughs> right now. Uh, you're right. in third place. Chelsea's got 2,400. Uh, she's in second place. You can only wager up to a thousand. What would you like to wager? Uh, up to uh six hundred. Six hundred. Okay. Uh, this is only for Adam. He can. He's the only one that is allowed to try to answer this. Here we go. All right. A retired professional wrestler who now cosplays as Paper Toadette. Oh, retired. Professional wrestler, uh, uh, Michelle McCool. What is Candace Michelle Light? Yay! You nicely done. Yeah. Candace Michelle Light. All right. Uh, and with that, uh, that category is actually gone. So there will be no more mental before and after this time around. My backup choice will be what, what is Michelle McCool like because she's also retired. But that also, but that doesn't quite that doesn't fit as well as the actual answer. So yeah, I know, but good, still. good job for figuring that one out. That that was kind of a tough one, especially if you're not a fan of wrestling. I've uh, seen wrestling before, so. Jace, the blank yeah. of blank, Australia. The OED says. Uh Let's go blank of blank. It's the subtitle of the first Anchorman movie. What is the legend of Ron Burgundy? Very good. Oh, nice one, man. All right, <laughs> Chelsea. The OED says, Joker, the OED says. What's the OED says? It's uh, Oxford English Dictionary says. Yeah, let's try that. The OED says it's... The, a title of respect given especially to a Jewish scholar or teacher. What is it, rabbi? That is correct. Okay. Adam, the mm-hmm. blank of blank, Joker, Joker. Uh, Choker, Choker, blank of blank. Joseph Smith said this text, written on gold plates, was delivered to him. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the lie of a nation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Dum 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 dum. <laughs> dum 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 dum. What is the uh, Book of Mormon or something? Very, that's very good. I, 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 South I couldn't Park, help right? but give that away. Like I that was too South much Park. fun to laugh at. Jace, yeah, I've seen South Park, man. I didn't J- know that part. Jace, Joker, the blank of blank, Joker. I guess the blank of blank. All right, this is for a thousand, and this has a uh, this has a visual clue with it. So I want you to take a look at the picture when I put it in the chat. August Rodin made this masterpiece, which depicts six townsmen who were willing to sacrifice their lives to help end the siege of their city by the English army. Oh, fuck. Who are the six townsmen of sacrifice? Uh, no, that is incorrect. Chelsea? I don't know. Adam? I don't know either. Who are the burgers of Calais? <laughs> yeah, that is, that is what I'm they were hungry. called. I'm hungry. <laughs> burgers? <laughs> I'm hungry. And the blank of blank is now also gone. Oh uh, man, I was hoping Duke of Earl would have been an answer in that category. Uh, Chelsea, talk like a pirate, Australia Joker. Talk like a pirate. Do it, you because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Uh, Joker, Joker, pirate? Uh, there's only one Joker, I believe, so yeah. Talk like a pirate. It is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king, says a song from this Gilbert and Sullivan show. What is the Pirates of Penzance? Very good. Uh, Adam, Australia, Joker, talk like a pirate. Joker, Australia. The smallest state is this, uh, in the country, is this island state whose capital is Hobart. Tas- what is Tasmania? Very good, yes. At least I know that one. Come to Tasmania. We mean you. We have an absolutely friggin' close game right now between everybody. Jace, uh, Australia Joker, talk like a pirate. Pirate. Uh, this Steven Spielberg title pirate. pirate. This Steven Spielberg <laughs> title pirate is described by Smee as being so deep he's almost unfathomable. Who is Hook? I will accept, yes, Captain Hook. Manga Wang. <laughs> uh, Chelsea. Australia, Chelsea, the, uh, Australia, the OED says, the OED says. Let's go with the OED says. The OED says it's to walk or march vigorously, or an increase in price, wages, etc. What is hike? That's correct. Uh, Adam, for you. Joker, Joker, the OED says. Uh, Choco Choco D.O.A.D. The O.A.D. says, It's the name given by Guido D'Arezzo to the sixth note in his hexachords. Guido D'Arezzo? Mm-hmm. Ah. Huh. I... I don't know. All right, Jace? Ah, uh, hexachords. Uh, do, re, mi, fa, so... Uh, what is la? That, yep, that's right. Uh, all right, Jace. Talk like a pirate, Joker Geek Juice. Uh, Joker Pirate. It's the world against us and us against the world, says Errol Flynn. Is this Sanguine title pirate? Sanguine. <laughs> uh, who is Captain Blood? That is correct. We got just about a minute remaining, and I must also point out that now talk like a pirate is gone. So we're we're getting uh we're getting close to the end of all these questions. Oh, darn it. Oh, our pirate. Yar. And Yar. it is Chelsea's turn. Chelsea, Australia, the OED says Joker. Let's go. Joker, the OED says. The OED says this three-letter guy is foolishly attentive to and vain of his appearance, dress, or manners. A dandy. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? Yeah, that's right. And uh, that category is gone. (laughs) Weirdly, I just watched Sweeney Todd in my film class. What's that? That's what? Finest in the shop. (laughs) Pop, pop, pop. 
All right. Uh, Adam, for you. Adam, Australia, Joker, Joker. Chuck, chuck, Australia. This island near Malaysia is governed by Australia, but don't expect a present. Ooh, I know this one. I know this one. Uh, is it a... What was that one? Ah, oh, man, this is... Small of a piece, small of a piece. Oh, man. Ooh. This has got to be hard, but I... Yeah, I got nothing. I forgot. Uh, Jace? Uh, what is New Zealand? No. Chelsea? Uh, it's not that. What is Christmas Island? That is correct. Ah, that is one, yeah. And, kid. So can I say, at one point, Jason and Chelsea were tied with like 4,400 and Adam had 4,200. It was a, that close a game. Right now it's not as close, but it's still a pretty good game. Uh, Chelsea is actually in the lead right now with 9,800. Jace is just behind with 9,400. Adam's in last with 4,400, which is still a respectable total considering how well everybody's been playing. Uh, he will be going first in double jeopardy. Let me get this set up right. There we go. I uh, think this is the best everybody's played so far. Yeah, I, I think you're right about that. And uh, it is time for our second round of play where point values, of course, are doubled. Mm-hmm. And the categories for our uh, second round of play are... Oh, I, I think you're going to love this. Smart people, <laughs> pop, pop, rock, mental shows, Jay's, the ace. <laughs> the fifth <laughs> category. Jay's? Jay's. And in the, the Jay's a. category, Jay's in quotations, and it's plural, so that means each each response will have... At least two words that start with J. Ah. So yeah, they're in in honor of our current Jeff, uh, Jokerty champion. J's the ace are the last two categories. <laughs> I love that that worked out like that. Wow. <laughs> I wrote those. I wrote those. I'm, obviously. I'm honored. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so uh, I guess we're gonna start with Adam, yes. and uh, time will start when you pick from these. The ace. The ace pop. I'll go with Pop. All right. This singer and judge on TV's The Voice was People Magazine's 2013 Sexiest Man Alive. Billy Carter. <laughs> nah. Chase the Ace. Uh, what is Adam Levine and Co Maroon correct. 5? Uh, yeah. Adam Levine is all we needed. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Jace, mental shows, Pop, Pop. Let's pop it. Born in Muskogee, Oklahoma, she won the fourth season of American Idol in 2005. Oh, fuck. I hate that show. Uh, I don't know. Who is Carrie Underwood? Correct. Yeah, you Holy got it. Holy crap. <laughs> Why do I know these things? Get out of my head! Chelsea, Rock, Jays, Joker. Um, Joker Rock. This Florida rock band had a smash hit in 2005 with Save Me. Oh! Who is Nickelback? Incorrect. Adam? Who is Shine Down? That is correct. Yeah. That song was like... I want one hit well, that's right. Here. Nickelback's Canadian. Never mind. That's not from Florida. <laughs> the hell is that thinking? Adam, Joker, the Ace, Rock. Joker, Rock. Formed in Michigan in 2001, this rock scored a group scored their biggest hit with 2013's Trenches. Oh, I know this one. Uh, who is Pop Evil? That is correct. Yep. Jace. Yeah. Jace. Joker Mental Shows Jays. Okay, let's go for my name's sake, I guess. Uh, let's go with Jays. Alright, you're playing it. 
I'm sorry? You're playing it. Uh, what is Joker Jeopardy? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> or Joker. Joker. Or Joker. Joker Jeopardy, but uh, Joker Jeopardy is what we would accept here because of the kind of nature of the category. Uh, Chelsea, Joker, smart people, rock. Uh, hey, smart people do rock. Pick a category. Let's go Joker, though. smart people. <laughs> Christoph Shiner said sunspots were satellites. This Italian armed with a telescope said, uh, no. Who is Galileo Galilei? That is correct. Galilei. Galileo. 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 Galilei. Oh, Galilei. So Adam. Mental shows. Jay's mental shows. Uh, Chase. It's a song by the Rolling Stones or a 1986 spy comedy oh. starring Whoopi Goldberg. Who is Chumpy Jack Flash? That is correct. It's a guess, guess, guess. Yeah. <laughs> Jace. Jay's Joker Mental Shows. Uh, let's do Jay's. This Hawaii born singer songwriter is most well known for his song Flake. <laughs> Uh Ah oh, shit. Uh pass. Chelsea? I don't know. Adam? Who is who is Chuck Johnson? Very good. <laughs> who is Don Ho? <laughs> and uh because of that it's this is now a, 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 once again a really close game. Chelsea, Jay's Joker Mental Shows. Um what is Joker Mental Shows? All right. Michael Riley and Josh Richardson, along with others, tell, tear apart wrestling on this candid show. What is Slam? That is correct. Yep. Adam, the ace, pop, Joker. Joker pop. Before the gaudy excesses of albums like The Fame and Art Pop, she was an extra on The Sopranos. Who is Lady Gaga? Very I good. know this. Yeah. I saw that clip from the Soprano surprisingly. Yeah. She did All a right. lot before she was a pop star. Yeah. Jace, mental shows, smart people, mental shows. Uh let's go with fart people. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Billy Carter? Uh in 1603, Francis Bacon wrote a treatise supporting the union of these two kingdoms, an idea King James liked. What is England in Scotland? That's very good. Ah, yes. It's two things I am. Very good. Uh, Chelsea, Jays, Joker, Jays. Uh, I guess Jays, Joker, Jays. Professional wrestler Joe E. Legend competed in the WWE in 2000 under this ring name. Mm-hmm. Oh, for the love of Christ, I don't know. All right, Adam? I know this one. I know it. Name. Uh, hey. Uh, Joey Legend? I mean, who is Joey Legend? That's He was named as that in the question, so that's wrong. Oh! Jay. Uh, who is... Sorry. Uh, who is Just Joe? That's correct. <laughs> I remember that on Heat. That is... That is... Wow. Scare. Yeah. Just <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you, WWE out, Network. I had to figure out how much that. I had to figure out math there for a second. All right, uh, Adam. Smart people. Jays. 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 It's what the JJ stands for in director American director JJ Abrams' name. Ah. <laughs> Lucky I know, I know J.J. Abrams work, so it's, uh, who is Jeffrey Jacob at, at Yeah, that's, that's very good. Very good. Yeah. I'm probably one of the only few that likes Into Darkness, sadly. And, uh, that is the end of the J's category. As Bill clips the audio for the... As audience. Bill clips the audio again. I wish you wouldn't do that. Sorry. All right, and uh, I think next is it's uh, Jace's turn, right? Yes. Uh, rock, 
Smart people, the ace. Uh, let's go with uh, the ace. This former NFL coach has been the spokesman for Ace Hardware since 1987. Who's John Madden? That is correct. Oh, football! <laughs> uh, Chelsea, I'm for you. Football. Chelsea, smart people, Joker, Joker. Smart people, Joker. I must preface this by saying this was written four days ago. Uh, 2004 book collected these by Antonin Scalia. Opinions where he was in the minority. What are... Supreme Court decisions? Incorrect. Adam? Uh, hmm. uh, what is uh, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States of America? <laughs> I, uh, uh, no, obviously that, that. that is incorrect. Jace? What are dissents? That is correct. He he died a few days ago. He yes, he did. Now. That's why I Thanks, wanted to Obama. Preference. Uh What am I for? Yeah, I don't know much about him. All, all I know is he talked... I, I know he mentioned that... Uh, what was it? Like... Timer, guys. Something about child molesters. We don't have time. Timer, we have timer. Pop, smart I people, don't. smart people. Adam, pop, smart people, smart people. Pop. This band went to number one with the album American Beauty, American Psycho in 2015. <laughs> Who is Fall Out Boy? That is correct. I saw what you did there. I actually didn't even do it. It was uh, the writers of Jeopardy. Jace, pop, Joker, Joker. Uh, screw it, pop. In 2010, Shakira had a world smash hit with this double talk song that sounds like something Fozzie Bear would say. <laughs> what is Waka Waka? Uh, yep, that's correct. And, uh... Ah! That category is gone. Uh, Adam, for you, Rock, uh, it's Joker, Joker. Ro oh, it's Chelsea. Sorry, Rock, yeah, Joker, Joker. Rock, Joker, Joker, Chelsea. Oh, let's go rock. Joker, All right, Joker. Wasting Light was the first album from this Dave Grohl fronted band to reach number one on the Billboard 200 chart. Oh, damn it. What is the Foo Fighters? That's correct. Oops. Nope, that's not it either. There we go. That's the end of the round sound I wanted. What the fuck? I'll be back in a second. Okay. We are done with this round of play. And boy, is it ever kind of close. Right now in the lead is Jace with 27,600. Second place has Adam with 18,400. Chelsea is in last with 14,600. This might be the highest scores I've seen going into Final Jeopardy from everybody. This is this is a win it or lose it. Uh, and, of course, we will do Final Jeopardy when fucking Adam gets back. This good. Jeopardy is brought to you by McDonald's. It'll clog your arteries. <laughs> and Jack in the Box. It'll also clog your arteries. <laughs> Uh -huh. ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And by Hot Carl Jr. Ew. <laughs> it's just Would a little crap. Would you rather be brought to you by Eddie Baba Ganoushes? Yes. We're watching too much MXC. Are you back? Yes. All right. So it's time for Final Jeopardy. Uh, let me post your scores into the main chat so you guys can s make sufficient wagers. The category for Final Jeopardy is Alphabets. Please send me your wagers in private message. Private message on Skype. And... You know my wager, Michael. Yeah, everything, right? I know. All of it. Shut up, Michael. Shut up, Michael. Michael. Shut up, Michael. 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 Okay, wagers are in. Let's do this. Release the Kraken. The category is alphabets. Here is the clue. 
It's the only letter of the Greek alphabet whose English spelling could also be identified as a number in Roman numerals. You know what to do. Why was it? It was playing. I I know it was playing twice because I was trying to total do uh, total up things at the same time. My bad. I I was. I thought I was. I I had no freaking idea. I I I was here as double. I'm going like I'm so confused. All right, I'm doing totals real quick. Give me a second. Tip me over and pour me out. Shut the fuck. All right, uh, totals have been done. Let's do this. Uh, so we're going to start with who was in third place, and that was Chelsea. Uh, she started in third place with fourteen thousand six hundred. She said, "What is L?" No, that's not a that's not a Greek that's not even a Greek letter of the alphabet. Uh, wagered everything that leaves you with zero. She's so, you, so she will be our third place finisher today. Uh, Adam came into this round. He was he had a lot. He had eighteen thousand four hundred. He wager. Uh, he said, "What is V?" Also, not a Greek letter of the alphabet. Uh, uh, I, unfortunately, yeah. you're gonna find out in just a second wh- wh- which one was. Uh, I read in a, a different answer below, but you didn't see it properly. You changed your answer. No, yeah. it's still wrong. Um, yeah. So, uh, he only loses 5,000. That's all he wagered. So he's down to 13,400. Let's well. see what happens. If Jace gets this right and has wagered, and, well, I mean, all he has to do is get this right. If he gets it wrong and he, st- and he didn't wager that much, he would still be champion. He said, what is G? XI. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> Jace wins. Uh, he's gonna, oh wow, he wagered 27,501. For a grand total today of fifty five thousand one hundred and one dollars, and that makes him our five day champion. Give me one second, and I'll give you the full total on that. <laughs> I wish this were real money. Me too. Yeah. Hey, shut up, you fucking! I remember we were playing Joker's Wild once, or some game. And I racked up, like, a huge amount of money. And my friend who was in the chat was also Skyping me at the same time was like, Holy, is that real money? I was like, no, it's fake point money. Uh, So Jace now has a five-week total of 219,100. Wow. (laughs) I wish it were real. I know. That's why he's uh, so over Jeopardy. Here's the thing, though. Jace, <coughs> Jace has informed us that he will not be able to be here next week. So what was what, what's going to happen is uh, he's going to retain his championship, and he'll be back to defend it the next time he's available for the show. However, since we're going to be playing Jeopardy next week as well, this means when Jace comes back, he will have a co-champion to defend against. He, so there's gonna be fight, two. He should fight in a ladder match. So uh, there'll be two. Cha- <laughs> there'll be two champions uh, on the next time Jace is available for the for the show for uh, Jack- Joker D. Hopefully next week's game doesn't end in a tie. <laughs> that would oh, be God. man. He is dope. That would be something. Something that happened there. That, that, that. Yeah. But in any event, yeah. So yeah, J- Jace will be back when when he's able to be back. Since he's not gonna be back next week, we'll uh, we'll hold a new game. And whoever wins that will be champion along with Jace. Be jelly, guys. I'm going to see. <laughs> All right. So. Chelsea Tarkenden, where do we find it's you? It's a sickness, you see. You can find me on Twitter at Chelsea. Oh, sorry. You can find me on Twitter at Chelsea. C H E L F F I. Why are you repeating yourself, Chelsea? 
Um, <laughs> you can find me at my blog, which is uh, filmbookproject.blogspot.com. Kinky and underscore there's shit. There's nothing there yet. We, we, <laughs> we're setting it up still. Kinky dash um, sex at blogspot. No, I'm just kidding. God, no, I'm sure that's already taken. Um, Probably. excuse me, wh- why are you giving out my Tumblr address? <laughs> your tum- your <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I was gonna address. say your Tumblr's hosted at Blogspot. <laughs> I that uh, was the joke. <laughs> Kinky dash sex dot blogspot dot com dash Tumblr. <laughs> you can find me at asshair dot gov. <laughs> Don't give away <laughs> Billy's address now. <laughs> but, uh, okay. The first article will be up hopefully before the end of the month, if not during the first week of March. All right. Billy? Well, <clears throat> the new episode of Dollar Bit Reviews comes out this week. I was going to upload it Monday, but stuff happened. Not with my computer, just family stuff. You, um, you guys have to look out for it because my father guests. Yes. Mm-hmm. He guests in this one. The and, life happens uh, first. And, um, uh, yeah, it's this episode's about wrestling toys. Oh, fun. Good wrestling toys. I put that out there. <sighs> Yay! And, um, yeah, uh, you also find me on Facebook, you know, Billy Carter and all that, you know, Billy Carter 17, Twitter, Dollar Bill Refuse, and PancreasWar.com. No. Did you say Pancreas War? Yes. <laughs> Adam Bednarczyk. You can find me on uh, Facebook and uh, on uh, Geek Juice Gaming Live, either in chat or stream each week. And uh, the latest episode of You Can't Be Serious is out in which I appeared. Also, you can find me getting complaints from uh, Western Australians for getting the answer wrong. You can also, fun fact, um, me and Adam are teaming up for a new podcast where all we do is watch the movie Alvin Purple. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just have to find a copy of the movie first. You but once you do, you have your material for ages. Uh, JCAs. So, uh, look me up. I'm just about anywhere you can find the words Crit Hit Jace. Uh, that's Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. Uh, well, Tumblr is actually Mind of Jace with hyphens, but uh, Instagram, uh, Meverse, uh, Steam, and uh, you'll be finding me on Twitch streaming the Japanese import Toys to Life game, Kamen Rider, Summon Rider. Uh, I am on Twitter, Facebook, Steam as Metalcast MC. I, I tried to make them all uniform. And uh, you can find me at geekjuicemedia.com where I do this show, as well as for fact's sake, and Geek Juice Gaming Live tonight at 10 Eastern, 9 Pacific. I, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing yet. I, 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 I might have a game. I might have a game. I might have a game downloaded. I don't know. Yet. Writer, no, I don't have a game. I don't have a game. Five downloaded. Nights at Freddy's. Five We've Nights are, at Freddy's. <laughs> doubt that'll happen. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens tomorrow night at 10, 9 Central over at geekjuicemedia.com. Uh, you can find me also on TVForYourMind.com where I do Slam, Wrestle Riffs, Joke is Wild, uh, and You Can't Be Serious, which, uh, the latest episode just came out featuring, uh, not only Adam and Dane, but also Ashley Miller, and I believe, who else? Mark Gledhill. Mark Gledhill was also on that episode. Oh, um, also, I forgot to mention just now, but I will be at MAGFest this weekend. Yeah. Um, if you know what I look like, come find me. Say hi. Oh, 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 also, um, I, I, I want to mention another podcast that me and Jace are doing. Oh, God. In, in this one, Jace uh, kisses random people on the lips, and he tells me what it's like. I thought, I thought it was going to be a podcast about us talking about young Einstein. Um, well, Adam, I wanted this to come from me, but... Uh, Wow. That 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 movie sucks. Yeah. Hey, I got yeah, a po- hey, I got a podcast that's called "Shut the Fuck Up and Outro Yourselves." I'm Mike Riley. <laughs> I'm Chelsea <totally> Charlton. <laughs> I'm Billy Carter. I am not Yahoo Serious number one fan. <laughs> and I am that shit crazy. You're you're oh, sunny. Can we can we do the shut up shut the fuck up cast? Um, no, because it would be 90 minutes of silence. 
don't think that would work very well on radio. Uh, thank you guys. See you next week on the Shut the Fuck Up cast. Have a great night.